When you provide ambulance care, you process information and, like any human, make decisions in two different ways. Using two systems, as it is also known. Your first system works quickly and intuitively and recognises patterns, a kind of autopilot, very experienced and skilled. The second system is the analytical thinking. That means testing your intuition, seeking more information and assessing objectively and thus more rationally, something that requires more time and attention. In clinical reasoning, both systems complement each other so that you act quickly and substantiated. The demand for care is becoming increasingly complex. This requires more structured and conscious collecting of information, checking assumptions and hypotheses, reasoning and making decisions. That is why the SPART model was developed. It describes the daily practice and supports more complete clinical reasoning. With SPART, you can oversee an ambulance care process in 10 distinguished steps. It is not always about the exact order. Sometimes you skip a certain step. Some steps you go through several times. SPART makes you more aware of every step, also in your evaluation and reporting of the ambulance care process. S stands for start and for situation. You start with the information from the ambulance dispatch center. You form the first hypotheses about what could be going on make a plan of attack and divide the tasks. Then, upon first sight of the situation and the patient, you form a conscious and subconscious picture. Are vital functions at risk and what treatment may be necessary? Diagnostics and interpretation are quick and you opt for a possible acute intervention. P stands for presentation of primary complaint or symptom. You naturally focus on what stands out the most. Problem-focused anamnesis and specific examination often take place simultaneously. The prologue also falls under this step. You look back in time. How did the injury or complaint arise? And why was an ambulance called now? You can also check whether other factors can influence the complaint. A comprises assessment and general anamnesis, where you search even more broadly for information about the patient's situation and try to clarify what you do not immediately understand or cannot place. Because perhaps there is something different going on than you first thought, or there are multiple factors at play. This is followed by the R of reasoning. This is, of course, a continuous process, where all your knowledge, experience and intuition merge with the objective information that you collect and process at the scene. Yet in every consultation there is a moment where you put things in order. You recapitulate. From this follows the resolution. You make a clinical decision. Finally, T stands for treatment. You work according to the professional standards. If treatment is essential and possible at the scene or during transit. In any case, transfer always follows. For example, to a hospital. Just giving self-care instructions or the transfer of care to a general practitioner also fall under the transfer. This concludes the ambulance care process. The SPART model specifies all the steps that you already take consciously and subconsciously, collecting information, reasoning, deciding and implementing. This contributes to the best ambulance care for all your patients.